I'm now going to hand over to um, Ray Hull, who is going to moderate this particular forum. But before we start, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Ray, for those who, who don't know. Ray is an international award-winning architect with 30 years' experience gained in highly creative, multidisciplinary design environments as a strategist, master planner, architect, structural engineer, and designer. This background led him to start his own design and consultancy practice in order to provide expression to his experience economy philosophy. Completed projects include the Snowden Summit Visitor Center, Hanover Rainforest House, Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, Volkswagen's Autostadt, the Durrell Ma Ma Marwell Wildlife, plus design development on museums for Saudi Aramco and the soon to open collaboration center for the Kuwait Oil Company. Ray Hull. Uh, thank you, Richard. Uh, welcome guests and welcome YouTube. Uh, so be very careful what you do, what you say, and that goes to me for sure. Now, this isn't a deliberate mistake. Uh, the word summit and experiences I haven't put together. This is a project in North Wales. And in many ways, um, it sort of embodies really what we want to talk about today. Uh, enhancing uh, what's already there, bringing a whole new level of experience, create sustainability both economically, enhanced uh, revenue generation, uh, perhaps even reduce capex. But it's all of our experiences. Experiences what underpins effectively the whole of projects. We believe that. So let's go back to a couple of days ago. The Olympic ceremony was quite intriguing for me watching it on, on TV. It followed the commodity, the manufacturing, the service industry e e economies, or the epochs. And of course, people are asking what comes next. Now, we're pretty sure what comes next, and it's the experience economy. Effectively, goods and services are no longer enough, and we've been hearing an awful lot about that today in the opening session and also elsewhere. Everyone wants my experience as well, so we must avoid uh, commoditization, and we must create somehow mass customized products so that everybody can have their own experience, sometimes solitary, sometimes as a group. Now, you will hear often experience. We're going to create a new retail experience. We're going to re recreate a new museum experience. We so these words are fine. But actually, how do you quantify experience? How do you actually uh, qualify those? And also, strategically, how do you place a group of experiences together so that you actually create an experience signature that you demand, but also the economics actually are hit? Now, the session format is very, very straightforward. Um, I'm going to ask, if you like, almost a thesis, if you like, from an econ economist, that's David Camp from Ecom, to talk about, effectively, the maximum of experience adds value. Then I'm going to do something very special. I've got each of my panelists to talk personally, six minutes each, hopefully. OK, that's, that's like herding cats, I know, but six minutes each. And they're going to put a personal overview about what inspires them, why they're in the business, and what experiences really mean to them. And then the last bit is very simple, question and answer. We've got some questions already in the audience, and hopefully that will just tie everything together. Um, if, hopefully, if we have a bit more time as well, we can draw some other questions, but that should be the format.